Hi, Doug Masnagetti here with another guitar lesson, this time uh, the Doobie Brothers Blackwater, my all-time favorite of the Doobie Brothers, uh, hands down. Uh, it was released, I think, in 1974 on the album uh, What Were Once Vices Are Now Habits, and uh, as usual, uh, I'll do a cover first so you can see whether there's something you want to learn, and, uh, and then roll into the lesson. Have fun. Okay, so you just saw the cover of Blackwater, and uh, the, uh, uh, to play the song you need to down tune your guitar, uh, take uh, your high E and your low E, take them both down to a D, leave all the other strings alone. And um, uh, for the purposes of, uh, of this video and, and, and uh, the way I play the song, my right hand, I'm always dedicating my thumb to the lower three strings, the, the E, the A and the, uh, the D. And um, my index finger is dedicated to the third string, uh, my middle finger to the second, and my ring finger to the first. Uh, there is one instance where I don't adhere to that, and I'll point it out. Um, uh, there's just one spot in the song uh, that repeats a couple of times e each time through the uh, course. But um, other than that, that's the way I use my right hand. So the song starts out uh, with your first finger on the first fret of the fifth string, and you hit the string and slide up to the second fret. And then do an open, and you go to this uh, sort of an A minor 7 
chord, but it's not, you don't play a chord, you just pluck the, uh, the second and, and fourth string. Your index finger is on the first fret of the second string, and your middle finger is on the second fret of the fourth string. So that together would sound like. You then hit open A, that's the fifth string, and then the high E. You then put your index finger on the second fret of the sixth string, pluck and slide up to the fourth. Sorry, slide up to the fourth and then open. So, and I do it with my middle finger. You don't have to, but uh, that's the way I play it. Um, so, okay, so that last little bit, after you do your open E, you, you pluck your third string, and, and, uh, and right after you do, you hammer on your index finger onto the second fret of the third string. At the same time, you're plucking the fourth string with your thumb. So you get sort of a, a you, you know, both those notes come through. The hammer on and this fourth string should be simultaneous, right? So it's, whoops. Like that. You then um, get your ring your middle finger onto the third fret of the second string and pluck the third and, 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 and the second string together. So, so, uh, so, so I've, I've taught you almost the whole uh, 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 portion of the verse that, that you play through and just rotates through. Uh, I lift off the last bits that after you hit those two strings, you want to hit the sixth string and you want to hit the high E. So the whole thing, real slow. Um, one of the tricks to make this sound good is try not to damp out the strings after you hit them. You want them to try to ring. Um, the ones that are really sort of probably the harder ones to keep ringing is the high E. It's really easy to knock that as you're changing your next chord position. And also the low E because you, you hit that at the end of, of the verse or close to the end and you immediately start into the top of the verse again. Um, and this finger has a tendency to knock that string. But try to keep them ring. Hear the way that high E rings? I try to listen to that when I'm playing uh, to, to make sure I'm hearing that because uh, sometimes I'll find I get sloppy and, uh, and start missing it. So that's the verse. He just rotates through that. She's ready for float. So he runs through that however many times you need to. I haven't counted them um, uh, to get through uh, the verse lines. And then he uh, moves into the chord. Okay, on the chorus, he starts out covering the fifth fret of the first and the sixth string, uh, strings with his uh, ring finger and his pinky. Uh, and he hits them both and pulls off with the pinky. He hits the fourth string, then the second string. Then the sixth string, and then the first string, and then the fourth string. He then puts his first finger on the third fret of the uh, first string, and he's still covering the fifth fret on the sixth string. He pull, he hits them both and uh, pulls off with his index finger. While he's doing that, he's getting his pinky onto the fifth fret of the uh, second string. And he hits the uh, fourth, fourth and the second string together. So it's... And then 
he hits, so, so, uh, after he hits the fourth and the first, he hits the, he hits the uh, fourth and the second, sorry, together, and he, and he pulls off, and he, and he hits the, the first string at that point, then the sixth, then the second, and then the fourth. So it's, so the whole thing together, very, as slowly as I can, Then he slides up to the 7th fret, covering the 6th and the 4th string on the 7th fret using ring and pinky. You uh, cover the, uh, sorry, that's not the 7th fret, that is the 8th fret. And uh, then uh, cover the 6th fret, 2nd string, with your index finger. And he, uh, uh, just let me walk into it so I can remember how to play it. That's right. So he, uh, so with your fingers in the positions I, I said earlier, he hits the sixth, then the fourth, and then the second. Uh, he gets his middle finger onto the seventh fret of the fourth string, and he pulls his pinky off, and he hits the uh, fourth and the second together. So it's. He, he hits the E before he, he hits the two of those. So he, he hits the he hits the sixth string, the fourth string, the second string, back to the sixth string, lift the pinky, and and pluck pluck both the second and the fourth string. that he the first the sixth the fourth the second sixth but rather than hitting the second and fourth together he hits them separately he hits the the uh, 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 second string first and then he hits the fourth so it's so the the two together you run through this twice and it ends a little differently on the second time so then back down That's the course, um, uh, the beginning of the course, and you run through that, I think, three times. Uh, and so then after the third time through, you go through... You uh, slide all the way down, hit the open open fifth, and you, uh, you cover the... Uh, uh, you know, you basically make an A chord, and I just do it with my, my, my index finger. Uh, you use your your thumb to hit the first, the, sorry, the fifth string, uh, which is an open, and you're uh, just barring uh, the the top four strings. You uh, then hit the fourth string and use your uh, index, middle, and ring finger to grab hold of the top three strings all at the same time. Come down to the sixth string, second fret, hit it, and then use your uh, index ring and middle finger again, except this time hit the fourth and third and second string. This is where I violate my rule because rather than using my thumb to hit the fourth string, I'm using the index finger. But I find it just goes a lot smoother if you just shift that pattern down rather than trying to change position with your, your hand and use your thumb to catch that fourth string. So, uh, so what we have then is... So he's he's hitting this E string so uh, 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 quite a bit af after that. Uh, he he immediately hits it. He comes up and hits the high E. He then hits the low E again, and then he hits the uh, the third string. 
And all this time, he's only got the index finger on the second fret of uh, the sixth string. So, r real slow again. Then you, s then you come down uh, to the sixth string again, second fret, and slide up to the fourth fret. Open A. And then uh, 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 hit the fifth string with uh, the second fret covered. And then you drop back into the same progression we ran through, where you shift this over bar, hit that, uh, hit that fifth string, fourth string, top three, sixth, the second, third, and fourth strings, E, 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 third string. Slide up, I hammer on there, and then shift, hit that fifth again. Okay, so he runs through that, I don't know, it's three times, you can figure it out listening to the song, and then he, he shifts that pattern a little bit, and let me see if I can remember it, so he's... Uh, The last time through, rather than, uh, you know, he, he's at this point where he's sliding up, he, he does that, and you would normally go back down to that and do that, but rather than doing that, he slides up and uh, he hits the low string. got a partial D chord formed here, and he plucks the second and first string with uh, your left hand doing a partial D right there. So it's, um... Fifth string, and shift down to an A minor seventh uh, again, and, and you pluck those two the second and the fourth string. So it's one more time from from then hit the fifth string, first string, sixth string, first string. I believe it's the first string. Let me make sure it's not the second string. the third string. Then you hammer on, hit the first hammer on to the second fret, hit the fourth hammer on, second fret, and then you run through it again. Sixth string, fourth string. Fifth string, A seventh. It's a World War II bomber that has been flying overhead for Memorial Day here. Um, you hear it, I think, every hour. Um, so uh, let me run through through the the course. Then that that is actually the whole course. Uh, you know, uh, so after he after he 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 shifted. You know, if you start in. Sorry, let me just start from the top. So starting up at the fifth fret, you uh, you you just run. Through. I'll just play through it as slow as I can.
stops there and he just bars this like like you're gonna roll through the whole thing again. He bars that, but he strums it. And then he uses his ring finger and his middle finger to cover the uh, second and fourth strings on the third and fourth fret. He just does that. And then back into... So, one more time with the chorus. I'll try to play it uh, as slow as I can uh, one more time all the way through. there near the end there's one or two mistakes in there hopefully you can just pick them out and, and separate it from uh, the progression that I that I, I taught you so you, you don't mistakenly incorporate them into the song uh, well that's it uh, that's Blackwater um, remember I think one of the harder things is just try to keep those strings ringing and, and um, try not to damp them out uh, and, uh, and I hope you have fun with it